I'm gonna um, label this as like a little warning, okay? So um, if y'all seen this, I saw this on the news and then I just saw the article. Now I'm going to tell you um, a little bit about a dream that I had in January, 2022. And I had this dream and for some reason I was in China. <laughs> and you know, the, uh, there was different parts of the dream, but there was towards the end, I was getting ready to order food and I wanted chicken. And I'm going through the menu on my phone, swiping on my phone, but it's almost like I'm swiping on my phone, but I can physically see it in my hand at the same time. It, but the chicken did not look appealing. It looked very pale. It almost lo looked rubber-like, like fake-like, right? Rubber-like. And I remember I woke up from that dream, and, but um, in that same morning, a friend of mine, a prophetic friend of mine, sent me a text, and she was like, tell me a dream she had about chicken being contaminated and to be careful with me. And I was like, yo, I just had a dream about chicken as well, and this is kind of what mine was like, and we're over here trying to figure it out, right? So you can kind of see our text exchange. I didn't show everything, uh, and then part of the dream that I had. And so what we need to understand is that God um, reveals things in advance, he warns in advance. He sends information in advance. And sometimes it's for us to, you know, pray about it. Sometimes it's for us just to be prepared. Sometimes it's for us just to kind of have the advantage, right? And, and just to be able to know kind of like what's up. And I think sometimes we underestimate how God speaks and we underestimate the things that he tries to say. And we need to understand that even though things may have a logical explanation in the natural, something that we can be comfortable with in the natural, right? But things are not always what they seem. And so it's important for us to truly seek God about all things, right? And to truly seek God about true intentions and motives and whatnot. So I say all of that to say, when it comes to food in this season, Pray over everything you are going to eat and seek God about the decisions that you are making um, concerning the things that you are putting in your body. Um, because we never know how things are going to pan out or consequences and whatnot until down the line, right? But God knows. And so he tries to prep us in advance. Sometimes we just don't want to take heed. And sometimes we think we know more or we know better. Or sometimes we just tend to put trust on people as opposed to God. And so just understand that in this season that we are going into, it's really important for you to be very discerning. And it's really important for you to um, not ignore red flags or not ignore things that God wants to show you or reveal. Uh, and so just be really mindful of your body, what you are putting in your body, and making sure that you're really taking care of this body. Because if things were not to, if things were to have a negative outcome or a bad outcome or whatnot, you want this body to be able to fight against whatever is trying to invade it.